Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord Newthor 7. And I'm back. I think. How long? I don't know. Hey, look at that giant system that is spinning off of the Atlantic that is long gone now. What we're doing is what we used to do. We're looking at the models, but as Cranky Weather Guy, the king of weather Twitter, who's also been offline for about 10 days as well, says, yeah, dude, I wouldn't watch the models. I'd watch the planet itself. And because I just now got back online, thanks to Chris Smith for the laptop, and thanks to everybody else, Mr. Galloway, um, there's several people. I will name you guys later. I'm a little nervous, and I'm scared they're going to, like, punch back in in, like, five minutes. So this is like a test run. I'm letting you guys know that I, I hope I'm back, and I hope everything's up and running. Uh, thank you for your cards, your letters, the books, Olaf. Um, you know, I, I put out my personal address, which is 5430 Birdwood Road, Houston, Texas, 77096, apartment number 416. So that way I could know that if you guys sent me anything, I would get it. Whereas my P.O. box got compromised and then uh, I reset my PayPal. So that should be working. So if you guys want to support me for all the work I've done over six years and all the shit that I've taken, man, can't believe in all this time, I've just been trying to unite people and just like every single group. I don't know. It's just bizarre. I'm not complaining because I am super grateful, I'm super grateful. I got my electricity on I'm super grateful. AT&T gave me till Monday to pay my $63 internet bill. Um, I'm grateful for you guys that you're paying attention, that you've been, that you miss me. And, um, you know, even all the challenges, every time I get knocked down and I can't get back up and I'm not defeated, it's exciting and it's nice. And it, it's, it's just weird, man. And it's all weird, but like, you know, Cranky's been having hacker problems, um, into the air, send me a cool thing saying, got to hang in there. You got to fight. He's been having problems too. You know, a, a lot of people outside of certain groups have been having a lot of problems. And so, you know, that's just kind of the way it's been. Instead of fair American competition, it's like kill and destroy the competition and then give the people a much inferior product at a more expensive price, I guess. And so, you know, it's just weird. The weather is getting weirder. You know, when I went down, I'd been putting together the video about how the Popocatapale volcano in Mexico has been going off for like 65 days. And then we had the major Midwest floods who are still ongoing, which have destroyed billions of dollars in crops. The media pretty much ignored. And then I think the thing that has gotten me in the most trouble, knowing the people we're dealing with here, the people that are involved in other groups, is that uh, my statement that definitely probably within the next year, we will see a volcano eruption in the west coast of the United States. That could be up into Canada. That could be Washington. That could be Oregon. You know, right now, Lesson Peak is what we're watching. Um, and like I said, it, it's a trillion-dollar real estate industry, bro. Especially, like, California's got the most, like, the biggest American housing bubble out there. If you don't think trillionaires want to protect their, quote-unquote, investment, you know, even above and beyond human beings whose lives might be lost or home like i know that's the saddest thing you have people who are just kind of hanging on hard-working good people you get hit by a hurricane major storm and you just can't afford anymore you know whether it be in florida the major hurricanes that have hit or up in california the wildfires you know we're talking good hard-working people who get one major negative thing and they can't bounce back and so that's why i thank god for you guys your love your support and just paying attention I got to say, in like the week that I've been off, A, I've been fighting with my computers trying to get them up. But man, they're locked in hardcore. I mean, there's a big group around me that is well-resourced and well-trained. They are good at what they do. I'll give them credit for that. Um, But it's just been crazy. But, you know, like I said, even all the more aggressive groups that have come up in the last two years, I've been here for six years, bro. And pretty much everything I've been saying has come true. You get that, right? You know, while like everybody was saying, oh my God, Trump's going to get impeached. Oh my God, Hillary's going to jail. 
I was like, oh my God, the volcanoes are going to continue to increase. The weather is going to continue to get weirder. The sun is going to continue to act strange. The hurricanes are going to get more aggressive. And remember, like in 2017, I was the only person on the planet that was like, hey guys, we're going to get hit by two more hurricanes. And guess what? We did. And then the year after that, I was like, we're going to get hit by two more hurricanes. And guess what? We did. And then this year, a lot of people are like, you know, we're going to get hit by a lot of hurricanes. And I'm like, I agree. And so, you know, if people want to swoop in now and try to knock me out of the game and take credit for all my work, hey, dude, I guess I just had much better parents. Although, you know, a truce has always been the best thing to do and have everybody work this out because this is the real lives we're dealing with here, people. And, you know, that's what's weird. You know, that, I don't know, I'm the best video maker in the game on YouTube. When I sit down, I edit a video for 10 to 20 hours. It is the best out there. And so I could be working with other people and using my production skills so we could get our message out there. And we don't always have to agree. You know, that's one thing about America where somehow if somebody disagrees with you, they think it's okay to kill you or destroy you or fuck up your shit or mess with you just because you don't believe what other people believe. And so now is a good time for Americans to stand up together and remember, we have freedom of belief here. We have freedom of religion. And so we don't have to agree on what is the perfect direction for our country. We don't have to agree on what is causing all these weird weather changes. We don't have to agree on the definition of God. What we do have to agree on is that we have big problems and that overall our government is not going to take care of us. Our corporations are going to do the exact opposite of taking care of us. I believe I'm one of the only channels out there was pointed out to you guys that since 2014 corporations have been heavily investing in corporate owned life insurance which means if you make twenty thousand dollars a year and you die the corporation gets paid 400 grand so you could see how in a volcano eruption on the west coast or a major hurricane how that could be a big corporate windfall and the same corporations that told you hillary clinton was going to get elected for two years and then told you donald trump was going to get impeached the same corporations that I've been saying that whole time that are trying to distract you from the truth and the weird weather changes, they're, they're going to continue to do that because there is a payday in it for them, unfortunately. So, you know, it, we're, you know, we've seen through Brexit that not any government has a plan, medium or long term, for the people. Not a single government on the planet has a medium or long term plan for the people and look man youtube has been dominated by trolls forever we know that you know the negativos the people who are in the comments like it's geoengineering there's nothing we can do the illuminati is coming to kill us or they've been literally selling you their plan like agenda 2030 or like we're all gonna die like they have been dominating and they can fuck up anybody's comments anywhere the thing is, if you go to a normal place, you go to a party, you go out and talk to people, like it's the people, it's the movers and the shakers, the people who are willing to work together despite differences to drive us forward. At the end of the day, those are going to be the people um, that get it done. And so like the doubters can doubt all they want and no offense, but that's not how you get shit done. And I don't even know why, if you think the whole world's going to end, why are you on YouTube going like, hey, everybody, the world's going to end, you know, just like let it happen and try and enjoy it. Although I don't think that's what's going to happen. So yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I am back. This may not be my best video ever, but I am just very glad and very happy to have a voice again. Like I said, these guys are good and that one of my ex-girlfriend's husband, Mafia slash NSA slash owns billions of dollars of West Coast in the real, on the West Coast real estate. And I know he's deep in with Google and he's deep in with a couple of other groups that we're dealing with called controlled opposition, counter opposition, man. Um, but I still love that dude. And I took a fucking amazing care of his kids and his ex-wife. Um, even though that didn't work out well, but you know what? Relationships have been tough. And so, man, if you got, I, I'm asking you guys to back off and just let me do what I do fairly. Cause I hardly ever lose. Um, and I am a good guy. I'm an honest guy. I've been here. I've sacrificed literally almost everything in my life to try and get people prepared for the days we're dealing with today. And, um, you know, I don't, I haven't given up on any single human being anywhere. And rich or poor, 
I think we all have to be in this together. And so I just wanted to say I love you guys. I super thank you for your cards, the books. Uh, I got a cool book on God and the weather, which I've started to read. Olaf sent me a Bible and um, a, a Thor graphic novel. I got um, a couple letters. So you guys have just been fantastic. I will try and thank you properly. In the near future, we'll see if I can even get this up. And I just wanted to say thank you. And I love you guys. And you are amazing. And once again, yep, my address is 5430 Birdwood Road, Houston, Texas, 77096. Apartment number 416. If you wanted to send me a card, thank you. Anything, any help or support really helps because it's like, I don't know, more and more people are getting knocked out of the game. And we've only got a couple months for hurricane season, and it's going to be bad this year. You know, I've even pegged, we're testing my Eris alignment, where I'm pretty sure we're going to get a Category 4, Category 5 hurricane in the middle of October. And then in the middle of April, off the same Eris, Eris alignment, we will test it out within a 10-day span. I got to recheck what the date is, but we're going to get a pretty nasty storm in April if the air alignment is correct. And so I will try and get back up to speed. I mean, it's been frustrating, but we learn and, you know, through all the shit that I've been through, oh, hey, we get the whole new one. In the last five years, if you go back and watch my videos five years ago, I've become much cooler, smarter kinder sometimes funnier guy so it's strange how like eddie vetter said i guess it was the beatings that made me wise i just want to know i want you guys to know that i loved you i love you and i missed you and i'm glad you're back and if you do want to help me get past all this shit unfortunately the one thing that really helps in most cases is money and so uh you know if you would like to contribute or donate i will leave my paypal link in the information box i think i you know the hopefully the connection is is good i reset it on a, on the new computer so it should be okay for a while i don't plan on logging in in a while though anyway another thing mercury retrograde is real man my computer i had computer problems and it's hackers like if people don't want to believe me dude, they've been hacking my phone they've been hacking my playstation they've just been trying to mess with me and it's just weird how People get off on being mean, you know, just the people who just get boners and orgasms from being mean. I will never, ever, ever understand that. And that in itself seems like a prison to be that person who needs that. I don't know. I don't think that will last long. Anyway, I highly recommend we all work together. I ain't mad at anybody. I realize it's been a straight, very strange time mentally and emotionally for most people. And I just want you to know. I love you, and uh, I appreciate you, and I'm glad to be back. So, everybody, hopefully it will last. I can keep it up. Who knows, though, man? Like I said, there, it's just been, it's like a giant team that has been kicking the shit out of me. But hey, guess what? I'm one man, supported by a lot of great people, and I'm still here, and I love you. So, God bless everyone. May the force be with you always, and let us live long and prosper together. Stay cool.